leaving uh, Spring Paddock. Just checking nothing's coming. And we're off to Wales. Yep. Start of our Welsh tour. 12 days in Wales, are 12 days in Wales. And where are we going here? She wants us to go right. Right. Okay. Um, M54 A5, and I can't remember the other number at the end. We'll just be here for a bit, won't we? Yeah. Right. <laughs> God, coming this way. Now. It is a busy road, this, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's constant. Well, it does quieten down sort of two or three o'clock in the morning, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Thank you, just done that. <laughs> Better late than never. Yeah. Yeah, so we really enjoyed it there, haven't we? Didn't yeah. We really don't want to leave. Yeah, and uh, thank you to Martin and Deborah for... Uh, um, a really nice time. really nice yeah. site, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. It's been so close to Cannock Chase as well. Yeah. We've set, found some quieter spots, didn't we, as well as yeah. the busy... Um, Visitor Centre. <laughs> yeah. um, watch the Olympics as well. And the Olympics were on, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, I mean, I said it. And I followed and on. You, and they, you yeah. carried on, so it was the Commonwealth Games, wasn't it? Yeah. We didn't actually watch it. So no. Just, uh, we, th we saw the, the horrendous number of cars there. I thought, oh my goodness. Yeah. And towards Telford. Ow. Take the third exit to M54. Ah, oh, Telford Way. Dropping down in the valley, really, aren't we? Yeah, we're about near Shrewsbury, aren't we? On Shrewsbury. Yeah. And that's Wales in the distance. You just about see the mountains. Yeah, so it's the Welsh hills, isn't it? Yeah. The background. Over but, there, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it's these traffic lights, and yeah. not really a roundabout. Salop Leisure. Oh, yeah. Wow. They've got a lot of caravans They've got and everything. a lot of caravans there, haven't they? Wow. <laughs> Just a few. Yeah, so we're heading on to the A458. Which I don't remember ever being on, so. No. Yeah, it's mid Wales. Just mid Wales. Yeah. Which is where we're heading, really. in Wales now. <laughs> At the roundabout, take the second exit to A483. That's going towards Welshpool. platform there as well. Yeah, there? yeah, some must have been a train track here on one yeah. side. Yeah, we're now on the A470, aren't we? It was the same road that was started off as the A489, came the A470. And it says that we're looking for a signpost for the B4 
518 okay. and it's signposted C-L-Y-W-E-D-O-G Dan <laughs> Not even going to try that the roundabout, take the third exit Yeah, and it, obviously that the brown roundabout. sign is the dam. Red Kites is current. Roundabout, take the third exit. Yes, yeah, so we're still following the B4518. Digger thing. Yeah. At the roundabout, take the third exit to B4518. Yeah. It's not going to be under our easy to access site list, this, is it? Yeah, there's actually a sign for it oh, here okay. now. Red Kite Touring Park, this way. Oh, this has been the tightest part of the journey, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not the rest of it, it's not been too bad. In three quarters of a mile, arrive at Red Kite Touring Park on the left. Fairly... Sorry? What is she called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Quite steep up here. Yeah, people have said you can walk to the town. Yeah. But it's a very steep walk coming back. Yeah, I might be taking a bike then. Yeah. Clock arrival, isn't it? And yeah. it's 13.07. In a quarter of a mile, arrive at Raid Kite Park on the left. Struggling with that, isn't she? <laughs> so, yeah. There we are. A few more vans than where we've been, isn't there? Uh, yeah, it's not exactly a five van site, is it? Quite a view down there. Oh. <laughs> Where do we stop? Probably here, I'd imagine. I think they allocate a pitch to you. Yeah. And they take you to it. Okay. Right. Got the barrier key, we've paid the uh, balance. Follow the man on the scooter. Down the bottom. It's quite surrounded by trees, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Quite tight getting around here.
Oh, it's blooming hot. 29, isn't it? Is it 29? I mean, I th <clears throat> you're talking about putting your warning out, but I'm just thinking, A, it's too hot to put it up, and B, didn't we make that mistake once at Peterborough and it went like a hot air balloon? Yeah, it keeps all the air in there unless you've got everything open, in which case then the sun's coming in anyway, right. isn't it? I know, so, so I'm, um, I'm in I two minds because it's yeah. 31 degrees tomorrow, yeah. 32 the day after. Yeah, I just got hot, just a... Uh, you know, yeah. plugging things well, I've, in. I've just walked, went for a little walk with Poppy and yeah, yeah. so hot. Yeah, just not used to it, are I? This is a time I wish I'd got one of these roof mounted air yeah. conditioning units. I'm yeah. always saying, oh, it's only hot for a two, two, three days. It's been like this for about <laughs> two, three weeks, hasn't it? Now? Yeah, yeah. We've got the fan on, we've got the, the all the roof, so roofs open, roof open yeah. door open, uh, and it's still t uh, 29 in here. Poppy's gone in a crate because I think it's cooler for her in there. Wow, yeah. Don't think we've ever been to Wales where it's been so hot. No, 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 I don't remember it. Tell me a little bit about the site then. Right, well, um, we're on pitch 25, aren't we? We're yeah. at the end of uh, BN, BWN. <laughs> it's sort of in grey on the thing. End of what? Was it saying? Well, under the road. It says. Oh, right, okay. Uh, Boon. Oh. Booncath. Booncath. Yeah, they've all got Welsh names. Barud Koch. We're, we're there. <laughs> anyway. We're there. <laughs> yeah, so we're, the toilet block is further it's up there. Back there, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah there's I'll have a little one. ride round on my bike. I think. I, I yeah. don't think we can. Walk around. Oh, we're certainly just, not with Poppy. Not with Poppy. It's the pavements are just too hot. Yeah. So yeah. I'm trying to see how many pitches there are. Numbers seem to go up to 65. Yeah. Yes, 65. So it's adult only, isn't it? Yeah. We've got all the sites that we're on on this tour are adult only, apart from, from uh, the last one. Uh, no. Mini. Sorry. Apart from Mini Don. Apart from Mini Don. Mini Don. Yeah. 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 Um, so I was going to say, yeah, we've got Lecky on the pitch, and it's 16 amp. We've got. Yeah, I'll have a walk round for you'll, that. You'll, you'll do, do all that. that. You'll yeah. do all that when you go outside, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a fob for the barrier because it's locked between 10 a.m. Yeah, and it's a quiet time, isn't there? There's a quiet time, and that's from 10 till 8 in the morning. Yeah. So if you're coming here with a group, just be just be aware that if you're out late at night talking. Uh, you might be asked to go in. Yeah, at so 10 it's quite time. It's ten o'clock. Yeah, and you might not think you're loud, but no, that's right. There's a lot of people talking. Yeah, and it just says it's low-level light at night. So yeah. please take a torch. Yeah. There's a dog walk, which is further down. Oh, I'll try that. that. Way. Try that in the morning. Yeah. Uh, dogs must have kept on leads, but there is a, a field at the bottom of the park where they can right. run around. It's okay. called the amenity field. Okay. And that's the way you go to walk into the town. Yeah. I think, as I said on the way up, it's about a 20-minute walk down. Yeah. But it's quite steep on the way up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Check-in time, out time is 11 a.m. Uh, the t there's a TV in Booster the bollard. Yeah. 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 So you need TV lead. Yeah. Well, they've got them in the shop. I've tried EE and Vodafone, and I've got a signal. Yeah. So have a look at me. It's flashing too. blue. Is that a good sign? Yeah. I can't really tell, but it's, uh, it's about two, three bars on Vodafone. I'm, saying, I'm going to say it was mega fast, but it no. it seemed okay. There is okay. there is Wi-Fi available yeah. as well, uh, which they gave a code for somewhere. Yeah, don't, don't tell everybody. No, I won't do. <laughs> and it says, please be courteous to others and refrain from streaming videos. <laughs> On the, on, the, on the Wi-Fi, yeah. yeah. On the so, Wi-Fi, so yeah, we, might, we might be watching terrestrial then. Mm, well, unless we can get, unless our mobiles are okay. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Right. yeah so we will have a, a look at the town. I expect we'll take the car or you'll well, go yeah, on the we'll bike or yeah. whatever. And it's, yeah. you're going to pronounce it. Well, apologies to all the Welsh-speaking people and even people who don't speak Welsh who live in Wales. Um, we think we're going to Thlan, Thlanidlo, Thlanidlo's. 
Uh, that's, I'm, that's what we're going to try. If uh, I've pronounced it wrong, apologies. Uh, please correct me. Um, but that's that's the nearest town. Quaint town, Fanid Lowe's. We ask that you walk through the immunity field. Immunity? Amenity field. Immunity field. <laughs> That's a Where's new one. that? <laughs> <laughs> Through the steel gates and take a left, and then you get a left and a right, and you'll be on the road. The path is, path is mostly floodlit at night. Okay. And they stock a selection of beers, wine, spirits, milk, ice cream, snacks, drinks, batteries, toiletries, and some caravan motorhome essentials in the shop. You're interested in the beer bits, aren't you? Oh, there's beer in there. Oh, yeah, I missed that bit. Beers. Yeah, well, we got, we got stocked up with beer, didn't we? So, well, we're pretty okay. Yep, so I think that's it. I'll take you round and we'll have a little walk round. Just how much it costs. Oh, how much it costs. Go on then. Yeah, well, it was, if I paid a deposit of £52.50 and you've paid the same now. Yeah. Haven't you? So yeah. can you add that up in your head? No. <laughs> it's 105, isn't it? Oh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's for that's three, three nights, three nights. fully yeah. serviced. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's 33 pounds a night, yeah. Normal, isn't it? Yeah. 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 The service pitch. Yeah, so let me take you around and I'll show you what we've got and show you some of the views we've got, which we haven't got because I've just put my cover on the front because just it's so blooming cool. hot. Yeah, <laughs> we all seem to be parked looking down. Looking down don't on, we? The, on the valley, yeah. 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 It's unusual, normally you're reversing, but everybody's yeah. sort he of said, that he way. He said to drive in forwards. Yeah, which we've done. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to take you around then. So quite big pitches. We've got the car there. If we do put the awning on, we'll probably put the car around the other way. I'm not sure we will. Maybe I'll put it up in the morning or something like that. Let's have a look. There's the post for the amenities. So on the pitch, uh, you've got a um, drain here and he says you can put your green toilet fluid liquid down there so your toilet waste can go down there yeah it all gets down there there's gray water as well so we can just hook up our thing we'll show you that and there's drinking water as well here assume electrics on this side and the tv booster there that's good but yeah i mean it's bakingly hot today but you can see we've got quite a nice little view down into the valley surrounded by trees all trees all the way around all right just get the amenities hooked up and i'll take you around the site yeah a waste pipe we only need one collapsed pipe that's good got the hose pipe currently filling up yeah Oh good. Yeah, it's filling up with water. I think when it gets to 75% it's close to full, so I'm gonna empty it now. The waste isn't hundred percent full. I need to sort that out. It keeps giving me hundred percent readings when it's not hundred percent on the waste. Let's go and have a look around the side. We'll start at the top. Motorhome service point. That's the road in. That's the view over the top. Mm. 
go down to the bottom again. This is take two of this, you know. First one I was pointing down at the handlebars again. There's a fishing lake down there. They all seem to be laid out in a similar plan, they're all like a little cul-de-sac. Got the dog walk up there. That's good. I think that's it for now. I might have a little look at the uh, toilet block perhaps from a two o'clock in the morning or something when there's no one around. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a stunning view here. We've just got the canopy up, probably sea tent. Jenny's got the uh, Biro Moretti. My favorite. And I've got a old speckled hen. Lovely. Which is only available for private hire at five pound an hour. Okay, there's the laundry. That's three one pound coins for washing for 20 minutes and one pound for 15 minutes drying. goes alongside the campsite which is very nice a little bit overgrown but it's okay and the big gate here and the 
goes on down there. It also goes back to the campsite that way. There's not quite a nice little walk just going down and up there. Poppy says she wants to explore a little bit further. Let's see where this goes. Looks like it goes down to the road. There's a road down here. So maybe we can get back to the campsite that way. Cattle grid here, Pops. Don't think you can go over there. A little gate here. Oh, that's a bit of a rickety old gate. Go on. This tags us up there, up this hill, I think. Right, here we go. Oh, rather steep climb up there. Brings you back to the gate and the campsite. Yeah, just walk down the path from the campsite. Takes you down here. There's another fishing lake there. And we're going to see where this path goes this morning. Yeah, it's good. There's loads of paths around here. You walk along. Obviously, that takes you down to the road down there. Where I think we might take one of these paths. I'm not sure which one. But it's alright, that pops, Poppy. That's too busy. This one takes you. A picnic bench there as well. That's nice. Really is a delightful sight here. Yeah, a little dog exercise area down here. Yeah. Where's the other lake? Yeah. So that's it for this video. Be sure to check out the next video because we're going to have a look around the town and uh, we're going to go up to the dam and have a look at that as well. So uh, tune in for the next one and we'll see you soon. Bye then.